Greetings! Welcome to our second quarter Scholar Recognition Assembly. I'm excited today because we get to call lots of scholars' names for fantastic accomplishments during the second quarter. We're going to do things like recognize honor roll, teachers are going to give out some awards, and we even are going to hand out some blazers. Now the blazers may not be given out physically today, but we do have a ceremony and an opportunity for scholars that receive a blazer to come by the school. That date is Monday, February the 1st, so be on the lookout for some additional information about an opportunity to come and pick up your blazer. Hey, let's begin by calling some names for a honor roll and I'm going to start in fifth grade. I'm happy to announce that these scholars had all A's during the second quarter and this was not easily done. We know during the time of remote learning scholars have to make their way through Canvas, attend, attend live teams meetings, and also submit work in a timely manner and these scholars have done it in a phenomenal fashion. Let's celebrate our fifth grade scholars on a honor roll. Riley Adler, Abigail Arndt, Zoe Barksdale, Janiah Boyd Wright, Ryan Brown, Peyton Bird, Alana Fuller, Jayla Hawkins, Ben Holbrook, Robert Hurley, Caden Jacobs, Christian Johnson, Chloe Lyons, Theus Morla Vasquez, Nico Riker, Tatiana Singh, Jack Slocum, Riley Summers, Jason Tillman, Isaias Villatoro. Congratulations, those are our fifth grade A honor roll recipients. Hey, I'm gonna roll right into sixth grade. These scholars have certainly achieved at a very high level as well, and we'd like to recognize them. Congratulations to William Bolton, to Abby Cockman. Congratulations to Layla Drew. Congratulations to Elijah Farrow, Molly Holbrook, Grace Jaggernoff, Storm Jones, Maya Nichols, Alexandria Sauls, and Adam Teal. Those are our sixth grade A honor roll. Hey, let's talk about some seventh grade scholars who have done really well during the second quarter, achieving all A's. We'd like to recognize Bianca Acosta, Carson Connolly, Janiah Hamilton, Braden Hatfield, Josiah Hill, Hassan Khan, Carson Laney, Sophia McKnight, Jonathan McNair, Caleb Milton, Max Nissen, Kendra Nixon, Addison Ward, Gabby Ward. Congratulations. Hey, last but not least, we got some eighth graders who achieved a honor roll during the second quarter. We're really excited for these young men and women. Congratulations to Camden Alston, to Fidelia Ashey. Congratulations to Deja Brooks, to Misa Brumby, to Anaya Coleman. Congratulations to Kalani Daniel. Also, Courtney Griffith. Congratulations to Emily Harris, Addison Perry, Tamaya Perry, Jenna Pravat. Congratulations to James Umplett and Catherine Villatoro Balcazar. Hey, those are our A honor roll recipients. I'm going to ask some of our core and encore teachers to present some awards at this time. Hello, I am Coach Seegers here at Allen J. Preparatory Academy. I am the health and physical education teacher here. I would like to recognize excellence in physical education for fifth grade only. For right now is Diego Perez. For fifth grade, Alana Fuller. For sixth grade, Braylon Quick. For sixth grade, Addison Ward. For seventh grade, I would like to recognize excellence in health and physical education, Charlotte Slaughter. For seventh grade, Caleb Miller, Milton, I'm sorry, Caleb Milton. For eighth grade, I would like to recognize Nigel Bart Baker and Ms. Tamaya Perry. Congratulations, scholars. Hey, Mr. Morgan here with some band awards for second quarter. Um, starting off, we're going to do fifth grade. That's Mr. Christian Hall. Sixth grade band award is going to go to Miss Molly Holbrook. Seventh grade award is going to go to Miss Addison Ward. And eighth is Miss Destiny Hewitt. Thanks so much. Hey guys, Mr. O'Neill here, and I'm going to be giving out awards for excellence in CTE for the second quarter. So beginning in fifth grade, we have Diego Perez Montez. In sixth grade, Miss Micaiah Barnes. In seventh grade, Mr. Hassan Khan. And finally, in eighth grade, Ms. Kalani Daniels. Congratulations, guys. Keep up the good work. 
Hi, Miss Ackerman here, and I would like to recognize some awesome scholars from the second quarter that put in a lot of hard work, submitted assignments, put in 100% effort, and overall did a fantastic job. I'm going to start with fifth grade for excellence in Spanish, Christian Hall. In sixth grade, excellence in Spanish, Chance Dawkins. In seventh grade, excellence in Spanish, Riley Watson. And in eighth grade, excellence in Spanish, Adriana Rivers. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Ms. Meek and I'm here to give some awards for excellence in orchestra for the second quarter. So for fifth grade, we have Thais Moore Lavasquez. For sixth grade, we have Simone Rainey. For seventh grade, we have Kendra Nixon. And for eighth grade, we have Misa Brumby. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Evanson, and I'm going to give out some awards for excellence in chorus over these past nine weeks for the second quarter. In fifth grade, we have excellence in chorus for Chloe Lyons. In sixth grade, excellence in chorus for Layla Drew. In seventh grade, excellence in chorus for Josiah Hill. And in eighth grade, excellence in chorus for Tamaya Perry. Thank you guys. Hey, Coach Barker here, uh, fifth grade social studies. Uh, excited to talk to you today. Have enjoyed the smooth transition to face to face. Had a wonderful second nine weeks. Could have given this award to a lot of people. I'd like to give a shout out for excellence in social studies to Chloe McFadden. Hi, I'm Ms. Terrell and I am your fifth grade ELA um, teacher and I would like to recognize a scholar that shines brightly every single day. While we were remote, this scholar attended and participated in live classes regularly. He was always focused and eager to answer questions. Well, now that we're back in the building, he continues to shine and he is even more engaged during ELA than ever. Congrats to Diego Perez Montes on your success in ELA for the second quarter. Thank you. Hey, this is Ms. Bolton for fifth grade math. The scholar that I would like to recognize for excellence in math in the second quarter stands out for her laser-like focus during virtual and face-to-face -face instruction. This scholar is always looking for opportunities to up her game. From her effort during office hours to her participation in class, she is consistently bringing her best and seeking to improve. She is proof that hard work pays off. Congratulations and keep being awesome, Gabby Totten. Hello, Alan Shea family. Mr. Hammond here, science teacher, fifth grade. And I'm glad, no, honored to be able to present to you an excellence in science award for the second quarter. Now this guy, you may know, you may not, it's okay. He goes by the name of Tate Lingle. And why is Tate so special? Because he comes to class ready to go, he participates, he's engaged, he's always looking for answers. And so Tate, interestingly enough, had a struggling time maybe with our remote learning. But he has really put that behind him, he's made up all of his assignments, and he's come on in here and he's taken up um, just a, a fantastic attitude here at Alan Jay. So we're very lucky to have him, and I want to Make sure that you guys understand that Tate Lingle is absolutely excellent at Alan J. Hey, thank you to our core and encore teachers for sharing those awards for fifth grade. We have some other awards, and this is a significant part of Alan J. Prep Academy, an opportunity to earn a blazer. So for our fifth grade scholars, in order to earn a blazer, you have to be on the honor roll, you have to have had excellent performance in the classroom, you're a high scholar dollar earner, you're demonstrating leadership and integrity, and your teachers have approved your name to be a blazer recipient. This is a really cool recognition. So I'm excited to call some fifth grade names today and recognize them with their first ever blazer. Congratulations to Jacinia Abreu. Congratulations to Riley Adler. Congratulations, Abigail Arndt. Congratulations to Zoe Barksdale. Congratulations, Janaya Boyd Wright. Congratulations to Ryan Brown. Congratulations to Peyton Bird. Congratulations, Elijah Cavanis. Congratulations to James Chandler. Also, Miss Alana Fuller. Congratulations, Kennedy Garner. We'd like to congratulate Christian Hall. Congratulations also to Jayla Hawkins. We'd like to congratulate Mr. Ridge Hyatt. Congratulations to Tiana Hilton. Mr. Benjamin Holbrook, congratulations. Congratulations to Robert Hurley. 
Congratulations to Miss Bailey Inman, Mr. Caden Jacobs, Christian Johnson, Jalea Johnson, congratulations. Also to Mr. Tate Lingle, well done. Chloe Lyons, congratulations to Lanya Maynard. Congratulations to Miss Chloe McFadden. Also, Teus Morla Vasquez, congratulations. Congratulations to Keller Morris. Michelle Pagis, congratulations. Diego Perez Montez, congratulations. Nico Riker, well done. Tatiana Seen, congratulations. Maddie Slate, well done. Congratulations to Mr. Jack Slocum. Congratulations to Jordan Staten. Miss Riley Summers. Jason Tillman. Congratulations to Bryce Timberlake. Gabby Totten. Claire Van Newkirk. Congratulations to Isaias Villatoro and Miss Rose Zinzin. Those are our fifth grade Blazer recipients. Some of them are here in the building and will receive their Blazers. Others that are remote, please come through our drive through on February 1st to receive your Blazer. Hey guys, Mr. Nissen here to uh, present an Excellence in Science Award for sixth grade. Uh, this scholar is an excellent worker. She always is participating in class. She always has a smile on her face, at least I think she does, even though I can't always see her. And she is always the master of memes. I'm honored to present the award to Alex Sauls. <laughs> Excellence in ELA goes to a well-deserving scholar from our DC class. When excellence comes to mind in ELA, for me personally, it's not just the destination of success, but also the determination needed to follow that journey. This young scholar has been excellent on all levels and we appreciate her hard work. Congratulations to Mallory Wood! Mallory! Our Excellence in Social Studies Award goes to a Marvel Scholar who actively participates in class. She is always willing to encourage others in the chat, turn on her camera at the beginning and say hello bright and early. She also adds critical thinking to the classroom environment. Congratulations, Abby Cockman, AKA Abby the Astronaut. What's going on out there? It's your man, 50 Grand, Mr. Smith, sixth grade math, here to give you your excellence in sixth grade math award. No, okay, sorry. This individual <laughs> has surely done and has got what it takes to be excellent in math. Showing up in every class, participating, doing their work, getting hundreds on tests. Shout out to you, by the way. So I want to give this excellence in math award to Mr. Rob Bob Robert Boone. That's right. Hello, I'm Mr. Holland, sixth grade AIM teacher here at Allen J, and I have two awards today. The first is for Excellence in Mathematics, followed by the Level Up Award. So for Excellence in Mathematics, this scholar uh, is always the first one to log into our team's meeting and often the last one to log out. She has an intrinsic motivation to understand and takes it upon herself to ask questions when she doesn't get it. So our award for Excellence in Mathematics goes to Ms. Grace Jagernoff. My leveling up award in science goes to a young lady who has really stepped it up in the second quarter. She is always working hard. She's always in the chat trying to help out her peers. And she's a little bit sarcastic, which I really love, right? So join me in congratulating Miss Storm Jones. This next scholar, also from our DC class, has done tremendous growth academically. His average in ELA grew upwards to 15 points, I believe. So, a grade level and a half. This leveling up in ELA goes to Mr. Zuri Baker, the mayor. The mayor. <laughs> Leveling up in social studies goes to a scholar who is in our Marvel class. She participates daily, she turns on her camera, she's always enthusiastic and willing to encourage others. The best quality about this scholar is that she goes above and beyond to fix assignments if they're incorrect and she can always achieve success by going through those assignments, redoing them. So our leveling up in social studies award goes to Princess Mumbongo. I'm back. Okay. So this award is the leveling up award, right? You got to level up, you know, get stronger gamers. No, it's fine. It's fine. This person 
This is a girl, but this person definitely has leveled up in math. All right, now at first, I'm not going. I'm not going to say they were they had bad grades, but they went from a B, definitely up to an A, level up. All right, they participate more in class. They're showing up more. They're talking to me more. Overall, level up. Right, and you are just really dedicated to doing your best, the best, the best you can be. And I just want you to know that you have leveled up very, very much, Charlie. For me to you. Okay, our second award for Level Up in Mathematics goes to a scholar who started with a rocky start. He took it upon himself to put in the extra work and bring his grade up to an A for the second quarter. Our award for Level Up Mathematics is Mr. Quincy Long. Back again with another one. Okay, I'm sorry. This here is the Superhero Scholar Award for sixth grade. All right, we're doing the DC edition. And this person, once again, you know, superhero, you gotta be great in everything, all right? Showing up to class, on time, early, what? Checking in, getting stuff done early on time, what? All right, always helpful, always being in the chat, always asking for help, showing up to office hours, doing what it does to take to be a superhero scholar. I'm just saying, guys, what else can you ask for? Savage Kid, Evander Davis. Evan, my man, congratulations. All right, guys, I'm back with the next superhero award. That last one was really hard to follow, but I think I'm going to try to follow it the best way I know how. All right, so this young man is an excellent scholar. And when I was reflecting about how much of a superhero he is, I was thinking about how focused he is. And I want to read you a little quick quote. So this is all about focus. The direction of your focus is the direction your life will move. Let yourself move toward what is good, valuable, strong, and true. I don't think I could say much more or anything better that describes this young man. He is definitely motivated. He is definitely honest. He is somebody that I think many of us look up to. All of the teachers do. I know that. So join me in congratulating Mr. Adam T. All right, I'm excited to present blazers to some of our sixth grade scholars today at this part of the ceremony. For all of our sixth graders that have been with us previously, you know what it takes to earn a blazer. This is a very high recognition. It means that academically you're performing very well. Socially, you're demonstrating leadership and your teachers certainly recognize all the great work and efforts that you have put in. So I'm excited today to call some names of sixth grade scholars who will be receiving their blazer. Hey, let's begin with Mr. Zuri Baker. Congratulations to Micaiah Barnes. Congratulations to Parker Bartlett and Judah Bell. Congratulations also to William Bolton and to Robert Boone. Well done. Congratulations to Madeline Brady, to Ariana Burgess, to Abby Cotman, and to Evander Davis. Congratulations. Hey, Chance Dawkins, well done. Layla Drew, congratulations. Elijah Farrow and Anna Fields receiving their blazers. Well done. Congratulations to Mr. Jackson Fitzgerald, Andrew Hardy, Victoria Hardy. Congratulations to Molly Holbrook. Congratulations to Grace Jagernoff. Congratulations to Storm Jones and Mary Claire King. Congratulations to Nan Laney. Congratu congratulations to Princess Babongo. Congratulations to Jordan McNeil and Jaden Mitchell. Congratulations also to Andrew Morgan and to Maris Morgan. Congratulations to Ms. Maya Nichols and Jahari Roberts. Well done. Congratulations to Alexandria Sauls and Charlie Slaughter. Congratulations to Mr. Adam Teal and Kamai Watson. Well done. Congratulations also to Kennedy Watts, to Sky Wilson, and to Star Wilson. What a great number of sixth grade scholars receiving their blazers. I hope you'll join us next Monday evening for our drive through event. You'll have an opportunity to pick up your blazer at that time and have your picture made in front of our presentation board. Congratulations. I'm Ms. Hartness, the seventh grade ELA teacher. And for quarter two, I would like to give awards to James Ashley, and Amaya Hilton for excellence in ELA. Both of these scholars come to class consistently and follow directions and turn in their work, so congratulations. 
Hey, I'm Miss Big Mellon. I'm seventh grade math teacher here at Allen J. Pratt. I want to give my two awards for excellence in math the second quarter to Josiah Hill and also to Maham Khan. Both of these students have excelled a lot in a class. Maham is very active and interactive in the classroom. She also offers support to some of the kids and offers instruction and help when we need it. And Josiah has done a fantastic job keeping up with his assignments and also being a good provider or staying with his assignments in the classroom and being online. Hi, I'm Ms. Arnold. I teach seventh grade here at Allen J. Prep and I'm here to give my two awards for excellence in social studies for quarter two. My awards are going to Mr. Christian Griffin and Mr. Braden Hatfield. Hey, I'm Mr. Meyer, seventh grade science teacher. I have two awards today, both for excellence in science, one for a female and one for a male. Uh, my female scholar goes to Bianca Acosta and my male goes to Max Nissen. They both are so attentive to their work. They're always in line instruction and they're always turning things in on time. So congratulations to you both. Hello everybody, I'm Will Holland, seventh grade math one teacher and I have two awards today for excellence in mathematics. These two scholars have both excelled academically during the second quarter. They participate at a high level and I appreciate the authentic ideas and conversations that they bring to class each day. Uh, for our first award for excellence in mathematics goes to Mr. Carson Connolly and the second award is to Ms. Kendra Nixon. Hey, I'm excited to hand out some blazers to our seventh grade scholars. This is a really cool accomplishment and recognition. These are for our scholars that are performing at a very high level, both academically and socially. It means you're on the honor roll, it means you have high scholar dollars, it means you demonstrate leadership and integrity, not just in face-to-face, -face, but also during the remote learning uh, that we're experiencing with school right now. So I'm really excited to call these seventh grade names. Let's begin by celebrating these scholars. Hey, Miss Bianca Acosta, Jordan Adams, Javen Bays, congratulations to Carson Connolly, Sela Goins, Janiah Hamilton, congratulations to Braden Hatfield, Josiah Hadima, congratulations to Josiah Hill, Amaya Hilton, Caitlin James, Braden Jeffries, Javion Jones, congratulations to Hassan Khan, Maham Khan, Jamir Kendall, Carson Laney, Congratulations to Deanna McBee, Sophia McKnight. Congratulations to Jonathan McNair, Caleb Milton, Nassim Motley. Congratulations to Julian Leary, Kendra Nixon, Max Nissen, Trinity Ratliff. Congratulations to Julia Rodden. Congratulations to Deja Smith. Congratulations to Herzl Smith, Jemiah Spencer. Congratulations to Addison Ward. Congratulations to Gabby Ward. Also, Miss Riley Watson, Hutchins Wheat. Those seventh grade scholars, congratulations. I hope you will join us for our drive-through event where you can pick up your blazer. That's scheduled, scheduled for Monday evening, February the 1st. Be on the lookout for more information. Good afternoon, 8th grade scholars! Mr. Van Newkirk, 8th grade science here. Hey, I just want to congratulate you guys on a job well done this second quarter. But I have some awards to give out. I want to go ahead and recognize this scholar for being the most improved scholar in science for second quarter. Destiny Bagger. Good job, Destiny. Way to bring those grades up, complete those assignments. I am very proud of you. I look forward to seeing you do great things during the third quarter. Alright, are you ready? We've got the student who has just done amazing things in science and they are getting the award for excellence in science for the second quarter and that is none other than Camille Khan. I want to congratulate you and thank you for participating at a high level and hey, I just look forward to seeing what you're going to do this quarter. Coming up, have a great day. Hey, eighth grade scholars, we got some awards to give out. Uh, this is Mr. Schilling. We're going to start with our second quarter awards for social studies. We've got our most improved award. In this quarter, we had two scholars who had really stepped it up from the first quarter to the second quarter. The first scholar is Jeremiah Pettyjohn. Well done, Jerry. Way to give a great effort this quarter. Um, and our second most improved award is James Spencer. Good job, Spence, bringing up that grade from the first quarter to the second quarter. 
Our second Social Studies Award is for the excellence uh, in Social Studies, and this quarter it goes to Deja Brooks. Great job this quarter, turning in all of your assignments, getting really high marks. Really good job, Deja, congrats. Hi, I'm Ms. Jackson, 8th grade ELA, and I'm here to present um, my two awards for the second quarter. First, um, in ELA Excellence, I want to present an award to Mercedes Brown. For most improved, I would like to present an award to Yareli Delgado. Hello, this is Ms. Barnes, and I'm here to present the math awards. I'm going to start with our most improved in mathematics. Congratulations goes to Tiana Spinks for improving her math grade. And then our second award is Excellent in Math. This award goes to Ms. Tamaya Perry. Congratulations, ladies. Hey, eighth grade scholars, Mr. Schilling back here with you to give out our eighth grade all-star award. So for this quarter, uh, we really wanted to give this award to somebody that's kind of set the standard for remote learning, turning on her camera, being interactive, engaging with other scholars, turning in all of her work. Uh, and for the second quarter, that scholar is Misa Brumby. Congrats, Misa, way to go. Hey, I'm excited. We get to recognize some eighth grade scholars with our blazer recognition. Our eighth graders have been with us for several years. They know what it takes to earn a blazer. These are scholars who are earning very high marks, both academically and socially. They're leaders in the classroom. They demonstrate integrity in what they do. Teachers have reviewed this list of scholars too and believe that these scholars have certainly achieved high in the second quarter. So I hope you'll join me in congratulating these scholars. Congratulations to Ms. Camden Alston, to Fidelia Ashey, to Nigel Baker. Congratulations to Whitney Brazier. Congratulations to Ms. Deja Brooks. Aubrey Brown, Misa Brumby, Sine Button. Congratulations to Anaya Caldwell. Congratulations to Anaya Coleman. Congratulations to Kalani Daniel, Jalen L. Congratulations to Courtney Griffith and Emily Harris. Congratulations to Destiny Hewitt and Cohen Jones. Congratulations to Khalil Khan, Tess Lingle, Antonio McCoy. Congratulations to Chelsea Marino Vasquez. Congratulations to Addison Perry and Tamaya Perry and Jenna Pravat. Congratulations to Aaron Sauls, to Gianna C, to Tiana Spinks. Congratulations to Stephanie Stafford, James Umplett, Catherine Villatoro Balcazar. Eighth grade scholars, we're proud of you. I hope you'll join us on Monday, February the 1st. That's an opportunity for you to participate in our drive through event, and you can pick up your blazer at that time. We look forward to celebrating you. As all of you guys are aware, we have a healthy house competition that takes place here at Allen J. Prep, both during face-to-face -face times, but also during virtual. Our kids are competing, earning scholar dollars, and those points go directly to their house. So we always like to recognize the house that has the most points during the second quarter. You guys know we have four houses, Nike, Dynamis, Hegemon, and Sabio. Let's take a look at the numbers. In fourth place during the second quarter with 14,245 points, Nike House. In third place, coming in with 16,237 points, Sabio House. Well, who will it be? In second place, Dynamis House, 16,723 points, which means your house winner for the second quarter, Hegemon House. Congratulations, 17,246 points. Well done. Always fun celebrating scholars. So we're at the halfway point of the year. We're actually a couple of days into the second semester. I hope each one of our scholars will continue to push forward during the third quarter and uh, continue doing your absolute best. A couple of things to keep in mind. This is the first week that we're moving to a five day instructional week. So the schedule that you're on Monday through Thursday will continue on Friday. So be sure you're in classes on Friday. Also next Monday, we have a drive through pickup event. Everyone is invited. For all of our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade scholars who have not received their pullover, we have an Allen J. Prep uh, item to give you, so I hope you'll come and pick that up. You can pick up a copy of your report cards, and for those of you that are Blazer recipients, you can also pick that 
of. That is Monday evening. We'll be out there starting about 4.30, so I hope you can join us for that drive through event. Hey, also be on the lookout for more information about our return to school plan. Gilbert County Schools should be announcing something here in the next week or two, and we hope that we can be back in the building with all of our scholars. Hey guys, thanks. Congratulations to all those who received blazers today and for all who were recognized. Keep working hard, guys. Take good care.